here is our new intake for the C8 vet. Um, we're going to be installing this on the C8 along with port injection. So we're going to be using the Holly to control port injection to start off with. So one of the first things we got to do is we already have a spot underneath here to put on the stock map sensor. Um, but we're going to need to put two map sensors on, one for the Holly. So right here, all we're going to do is drill a small hole in here so it can get back into the map sensor. The other thing we're going to do is have four injection on here, so we need room for eight more injectors. So right here we already have the bosses here, but they are not drilled through the runners. So we're just going to simply finish drilling the hole straight through the runner. Continue this for all eight ports or all eight injectors. Okay, so we're moving on to the second injector. Carbon already put in some pilot holes in here for us, um, but it was still difficult getting that hole all the way through there and keeping it straight. So, what we're going to do on the next one is just put a socket in the pilot hole and drill it out so we ensure that it's going to be the right angle for the injectors. Alright, so if you look straight down this hole, whoop, there you go. If you, can you see in there? Yeah. So if you see in there, the hole doesn't go all the way through. And this one right here is the one we just drilled. We haven't cleaned it out yet. And of course, there's one we already drilled and mostly cleaned up. So we'll just continue to keep going. Okay, we are moving to our last injector port. good enough or not so you can see each injector port coming through and we'll just get in here and deburr everything and it'll be ready to go Like I said, we're just going to deep it and that'll be the end of it. Okay, so we have both map sensors installed. As you can see, we have the one on this side that we're going to be running to the Holly. And the one 180 degrees from it. We'll be running back to the stock ECU for now.
take install, we're going to take a break here and install the secondary fuel pump in the fuel tank and of course the dominator can control the port injection. So we're going to install these two items first and then we'll get back to putting the lid on the intake. So we already have the throttle body mounted to the upper plenum. We just got to finish installing the, the bolts for the plenum, and we are done. Okay, now that we have the intake installed, the port injection installed, the secondary pump installed, and the Holley Dominator installed, we are going to move to the base file for the Holley Dominator. So this isn't replacing the stock ECU, this is simply piggybacking it, so we're only going to have port injection control to start with. You know, we're going to treat it like all of them. Here's our basic files. We're installing 45 pound injectors. <clears throat> We're using a two and a half bar map for future boost. That's the goal behind all of this. We have to go ahead and set up our main fuel table, which I've already done. And then we need to turn on the secondary pump and the secondary injection. So how we're doing this is this is how we have it configured. Anything above 350 RPMs is going to go ahead and turn on the injections, the power to the injectors. And the secondary pump is also the same. Anything over 350 RPMs is going to turn on the secondary fuel pump. Now we just got to assign them pins. We're going to put that one on B24. And we're going to put the secondary pump on B25. We're going to save the file. And we're going to take this file, we're going to install it into the dominator upload it and then uh, we'll see if this thing will fire up and work. Okay, we have the ignition key on. We're going to go ahead and upload this tune file. I have to cycle the key off and back on. And we're going to attempt to fire it up.
let's review what we did today. We installed the carbon PTR intake, the port injection through the intake, um, the secondary fuel pump to feed the port injection, and of course the Holly Dominator controlling the port injection. Um, I just want to be clear that all of this we had today, we're not expecting any extra power out of it, but what we are expecting is to be able to do more with the car. We can now run E85 with it. Um, down in the future, we're going to add boost, so we definitely need all this for that. Um, for now, we just got to get it back on a dyno and let's see that all this stuff actually truly works the way it should. Thank you for watching.